There is an FDA approved product that's in the marketplace right now and that product is my site and that product should become standard of care and every single optometrist out there should be talking to parents about that and, and how it could benefit their children. My message uh, for the eye care community with the approval of my site is we're going to do it together. So, you know, we're very proud as a company, um, Cooper Vision is, to be able to bring the first FDA approved product uh, for myopia management into the market, but it's the beginning. And so we're not going to get this done. We're not going to make the impact address the epidemic that is myopia progression alone. We have to do it together. Clinical evidence around off-label products is what you have all been relying on in your practices. I saw your hands raise, um, and we know that in the absence of an FDA-approved product, those of you who are motivated to do something to slow the progression of myopia have utilized the options that were available and relied on the science. Uh, but we now have an FDA-approved product. So I am curious from both of you, um, you are practicing outside of the U.S., but I'd just like you to talk briefly about what impact you think FDA approval for my site has in your practices outside the U.S. Well, for me, um, we have something similar to this, and, and is a CE mark in Europe. For me, it has absolutely changed the way I present my open management uh, to parents, because uh, it means that I can talk to them about a contact lens that has proven the efficacy in myopia management, not only in slowing down the progression of uh, uh, the diopters, the amount of diopters, but also in um, slowing down the actual length of growth that you were saying. And even more important than that, I can talk to them about a lens that has proven to be safe, to be worn by children. And that is uh, something that has absolutely change uh, from when you talk about off-label product. Okay. Thank you, Elena. Jeff? So we've had Health Canada approval for my site for two years. We've been using it since January 2018. Um, but Canada's part of the North American marketplace, so consumers in Canada put probably, probably just as much credence in FDA approval as they do in Health Canada approval. So it's going to change the conversation we have with parents. It's an extra level of comfort they're going to have. Um, to Mark's point, we offer all of the myopia options to our patients, including mm -hmm. atropine. So when you have that conversation about atropine, um, there may be some, some side effects, photophobia, loss of accommodation, and then they ask, how does it work? We're like, we don't know. <laughs> I don't know how it works, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, so that's a harder sell for atropine. With my site, to now say it's Health Canada approved, FDA approved, parents are much more confident to go with our recommendation. We're more comfortable, parents are more comfortable, it's just, it's just easier. Attending the Brilliant Futures uh, class today made me realize that myopia is a disease. I never really thought of refractive error, specifically myopia, as, as a disease. And sitting through the programs today, I realize myopia is a disease. And if you have a certain amount of myopia, it is like a gateway to other diseases like retinal detachment and glaucoma. And so now it's got me thinking about myopia in a completely different way.